How do you reach a consumer that wants to be part of the action rather than just an observer? It's a great question. Heineken's been challenging itself to do just that with its Heineken House activations at music festivals and sporting events. From Coachella to the US Open, these unique experiences are designed to bring value to attendees by adding value to the action already taking place rather than being a distraction from it. It's a balancing act for sure. So I talked to Heineken USA's Patty Falsch about how Heineken tailors these experiences, what types of consumers they're attracting, and how they keep their ideas fresh. Let's watch and learn. Well, good morning, Patty. How are you today? I'm great, Joe. How are you? I'm good. And where are you today? Where are we talking? We are in our corporate office in White Plains, New York. And I don't know if you can see behind me, I'm actually in our Dos Equis conference room. Yeah. So, it's, yeah, there, beer, beer is a fun topic probably for a lot of people. <laughs> you you yeah. live beer, huh? <laughs> I do live beer. I live beer and I love beer. <laughs> yeah. Well, Heineken House is a, a really neat activation. And we're really excited to talk to you about it today because it's, um, you know, it's something that people are trying to emulate. And um, that mu that must feel good as an event planner, event marketer. Um, but but let's talk about what Heineken House is first, and just kind of give us a brief overview of what that activation is. Okay, um, I'd love to do that. Heineken House is a proprietary experience that we do at all of our different sponsorships across the country, whether it's at the U.S. Open or a music festival like Coachella or a large sponsorship like Latin Grammys. It's basically our event to really give consumers there an opportunity to engage with the brand. It started out as music, but it has morphed into some other things like the U.S. Open. Um, it, it started at a music event, but mm -hmm. from the beginning, it was designed to be at all events. Okay. So and it really takes on and partners with the event that it's at. So tell us about that. How, how do you how do you keep something relevant when you move it from subject to subject like that? Tennis versus music, for instance. Um, you know, we really start by looking at the core of what the event is. Even when you look at music events, a music event like Ultra in Miami is very different than a music event like Coachella in the Palm Springs desert. So we look at the core of the event. Who is the consumer that's there? What do they like to do? What are the other things we can enhance in their experience already on site? You look at the the things you did at the tennis uh, U.S. Open. You actually had people doing tennis related things. Yes, the U.S. Open is one of the greatest events that you know New York City hosts every year. Mm -hmm. But people are there because they also do like tennis. So, even and for instance, when we're at Coachella, it's you know we want to enhance their music experience. Mm -hmm. like, Similar to the open people are at Coachella. It's a great music festival, but they're still there for music. Yeah, you know, um, there's there's a quote: "Stop, stop interrupting what people are interested in, and be what they're interested in." And that is what we try to do. That is really, you know, we we really spend a lot of time before each event planning and thinking how can we enhance it how can we make it better we also work closely with the promoters of these events or the owners of them like the usta to make sure that we're bringing something that is adding to it and not just something to put something up yeah so at ultra you did something where you had the the people could actually i think you said you could make them more of a participant yeah so our the heineken house was actually at the back end of the worldwide stage and consumers would be able to view the stage from the Heineken house. In addition, we also had a contest on site where consumers, whoever got closest to the action at all the other stages at Ultra, won a chance to DJ from the Heineken house with two DJs on Sunday morning or Sunday during the day at Ultra. That's awesome. So really put them in the mix of being a DJ at Ultra. Yeah. And I read a quote in the press that you said, it said, the Heineken consumer is a man of the world. He wants to be a participant, not a spectator. Can you yes. build on that a little bit for us? Yeah, sure. I think, you know, and again, that builds into just how we do the Heineken House and everything we do. We know that our consumer just doesn't want to stand on the sidelines. They want to be in there. They want to live it. They want to experience it. They're always looking to do something new and cross their borders in everything they do. So that's, again, how we try to give that experience an opportunity to them. Yeah. 
So, so how do you, how do you keep the ideas fresh? I mean, you've done certain things. Where do you start when you go back to Coachella? Yeah. Um, I think we always start by looking at what we did the year before, Mm -hmm. you know, what worked really well, what didn't. And then I really think we look at what are the sort of the newer trends technology, as we know, is always changing. I mean, five years ago, we couldn't have had this interview like this, right? Mm -hmm. So we're always looking at what is new, what is happening, what is the technology, what are, what are, what is our consumer? Um, and then we sort of test a few things out, look at different things and, you know, what's going to work for based on what the overall activation is going to be. Um, I wouldn't say there's a particular science to it, but we do a lot of testing and seeing what's out there and having some fun ourselves beforehand Mm. to make sure the consumer is going to have some fun too. Yeah, for sure. You had uh, what, five or six of these events this year. Are you going to plan to expand this more? Um, we are. I'm not sure if you recently heard, but we just signed a large sponsorship with Major League Soccer. Oh. So we will most certainly be expanding the Heineken House to some of our activations within that. Oh. So every year we're looking for some new stuff. And um, every year we, you know, see what's out there. Any partnerships we have, the Heineken House will be a part of. Well, cool. Well, I hope that uh, you get to here to Portland because it's a huge soccer town and, uh, yes. and a big beer town, too. So if, if you're in town, you let me know. OK, I definitely will. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Patty, thanks so much for joining us today. And we, we wish you the best because you have a great program there. And we hope to, to see more cool things uh, coming from you in the future. Great. Thanks so much, Joe. Have a great day. You too. When a brand attaches itself to a big consumer event, it's important that they become a part of the action rather than becoming a distraction from it. No two events are alike, so shouldn't your activations be unique as well? With the Heineken House, Heineken is setting the bar for themed activations that capture the imagination of the fans, whether they be tennis fans or EDM followers and they'll continue to extend this concept into new areas as they pursue new sponsorships and target audiences. Pretty cool stuff. And we'd like to thank Patty for joining us, and we hope that you learned something new today as well. Come back soon for another episode of the show for event marketers, EM All Access. See you soon.